Hey everyone, welcome to uh, adding and subtracting uh, rational expressions. Uh, so we've we've gone through all of the the adds, uh, the multiplying and dividing, and today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting when the denominators are the same and when they're different. So let's um, add uh, the following expression. So we have five y over four y squared plus twelve over four y squared plus three y over four y squared. And notice how all the denominators are the same. Okay, so we know that we have a common denominator, which is going to be 4y squared. And then it's just a matter of combining like terms. So if I put, you know, 5y plus 12 plus 3y, we see that we have two common terms. And so we're going to combine those, and we're going to make 8y, okay, because 5 plus 3 is 8, and we have 8y, so that's plus 12 after that all over 4y squared. Now what you can do is apply what we learned and, and factor. We know that 4 goes into both um, 8 and 12 and so we're going to be left with 2y plus 3 and that's all over 4y squared and the 4's will simplify out. So our final result here is 2y plus 3 over y squared. Okay, now we can always talk about what y can't be in this case, y can't be zero. Okay, because it'll make the denominator zero. All right, so let's look at number, uh, example number two. Again, the first thing I want to do is look at the denominators. The denominators are the same, it's 3a squared, so I'm going to go ahead and write that. Now, in order to add or subtract um, two terms, they have to have the same base, or excuse me, the same variable. Uh, to the same power. So we actually can't combine 9a cubed and 6a because this a does not have a power of 3. However, what I can do is simplify. 3 goes into both 9 and 6 and they share an a. So again, we factor out a 3a and 9a cubed divided by 3a is 3a squared and 6a divided by 3a is 2, so it's minus 2, and that's all divided by 3a squared. So now we can simplify. 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into this 3 once, this a will cancel with one of those, and now we're left with 3a squared minus 2, all divided by a. Okay, and this again, again a can't be 0 here. All right, let's continue on. We're looking at a couple more examples here. Okay, so in example three, we have 3t minus 12 in the denominator of both of them. We are subtracting these two. So the common denominator is 3t minus 12, which we're going to be able to factor. In the numerator, we're going to have 2t minus 8. So what we're going to do in the numerator, the numbers are both even, so we factor out the two. So 2t divided by 2 is t, <clears throat> minus 8 divided by 2 is 4. And in the denominator here, 3 goes into both of these. So we're going to have 3 taken out, and we're going to be left with t minus 4. Okay, when we factor that, the t minus 4s become 1. Okay, and our answer is just going to be 2 thirds. Okay, and we know that looking at the denominator, t cannot be 4. Okay, let's look at example number 4 again with the same denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to combine like terms if we can. So we have w squared minus 9, which is uh, the denominator, and then we're going to have w squared plus 2w minus 15. None of these are like terms w squared can't be added to the 2w, and w squared can't be added to the 15. They're not like terms. So once I have this, I'm going to try to factor. Are there two numbers that multiply to be 15, negative 15, and add to be 2? This is a trinomial. So the answer to that is yes. It's w plus 5 and times w minus 3. Now the denominator here is a perfect square uh, perfect square, uh, difference of two squares. So that factors into w plus 3 times w minus 3, okay? And we can simplify from there. The w minus 3's are out, and we're left with w plus 5 
over w plus 3. Okay, and again, w can't be plus or minus 3. Okay, I've got two more examples, and we'll end there. Okay, again, all these are common denominators, so we're going to go ahead, and the common denominator here is a squared minus 4. Okay, and then we're going to add the numerators. Well, add, in this case, subtract them, sorry. So I have a squared minus 7a. So I'm going to change that because you're subtracting 7a. So 7a, I'm going to put that in standard form, and that's plus 10. So now I've combined them. I've got to see if I can factor now. Well, the numerator is a difference of two squares. So that's a plus 2 times a minus 2. And if you're struggling with that, if you're like difference of two squares, basically you're saying, okay, what two numbers multiply to be negative 4 and add to be 0? Well, it's plus and minus 2. Okay, that's the idea. Two numbers that multiply to be 10 and add to be negative 7 are a minus uh, 5 and a minus 2. So we do have some things that can simplify out here. So the a minus 2 simplify, they're 1 now. And we're going to go ahead and be left with a minus 5 over a plus 2. Okay, and when we look at that, we know that uh, a can't be plus or minus 2. Okay, so let's look at our last example. Uh, again, common denominators. Okay, so we're just going to write one denominator here. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add the numerators. Now, 3 times y minus 1 is actually 3 minus 3y. Okay? So we're going to have y squared, okay, minus 3y. Then you have 3 and you have minus 13, which is minus 10. Okay? Now, I'm going to try to factor. The denominator, two numbers that multiply to be 25 and add to be the 0, difference of two squares, kind of like this idea over here, is y plus 5 times y minus 5. The numerator, two numbers that multiply to be negative 10 and add to be negative 3 are y minus 5 and y plus 2. So we have a little bit of simplification. The y minus 5s become 1. They're common. And we're left with y plus 2 over y plus 5. And again, I'm going to run out of space here. Uh, x can't be, plus, or excuse me, y cannot be plus or minus 5. Okay, so that's several examples of how to add or subtract rational expressions when the denominators are the same. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, you can type them below, and we will see you next time.